The Winter Contingency Event has gone live, and in this video we're going to review what the pass has to offer, what challenges have changed, did any of those leaked items make it into the store, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving their news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like this kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Today we're talking about the Winter Contingency event. This event's a little different than we've had previously with Tenrai, which is kind of a reoccurring fracture event. This is like a one-time fun event just to kind of celebrate the holidays kind of thing. I'm sure many of us have seen the leaks of what kind of content's going to be in there. And a whole lot more so let's not waste any more time just get right into the content guys so if you guys like these kind of videos make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything going on with halo so let's jump right into it so i'm sure the first thing you guys want to check out what is in the pass here so we can click on this right here you have the winter contingency event this pass will only last 13 days up until january 3rd so that's why it's a little bit of a smaller pass here so we can do a quick scroll through here we have the wild justice nameplate the first thing you unlock second thing you unlock is the armor coating peppermint laughter which is an amazing name and the coating does look pretty sweet this is all for the mark 7 as well we also have some shoulder pads as well for mark 7 which is kind of lacking in customization right now so i'm all for that we also have the peppermint laughter for the assault rifle which looks great as well you have a nice little nameplate background you have another emblem right there you have another peppermint laughter for the sidekick and actually a little utility pack for your Mark 7, which again, lacking in customization right there. So glad to see that's part of a free battle pass here for us to unlock. Last thing you'll get is the Sunset Contessa armor coating, which does kind of look more like something you would see from like, I don't know, like a, like a Halloween event with like the orange and black, but it does look pretty nice. So pretty sweet right there. Now, when I was looking through the challenges for this event, guys, there are no event challenges for this whole thing. So I'm pretty sure you'll be able to unlock things along with your season one battle pass along with the event battle pass as well. And the ultimate weekly challenge reward here is the sacrifice emblem, which I feel like we've had previously, but could be wrong about that. And I'm still getting BTB challenges, even though BTB is kind of borked right now for me, I can't find any games in it. But when I was scrolling through these challenges from here, a lot of these don't really seem too outrageous, like get five kills with a battle rifle. That's pretty easy to do. The only one that looks a little grindy, the one I have right here is the win stronghold matches, but it's only two and they come out quite often. So I wouldn't expect it to be too difficult to get. I do want to check out what the store has to offer because we've seen leaks of like a snowman helmet and like reindeer ears and stuff like that. And right now in the past, they're currently not there and it's looking like it's not in the store right now, but some fun stuff is in here. We have the fire and frost bundle here, guys. This is the big toy. $20 bundle and this is essentially reminds me of like new monarchy from uh from destiny 2 over here we still have this sweet snow whisper coating for your battle rifle which does look pretty clean if anything it kind of looks like how the watchdog coating for hitting 152 is supposed to look like but uh not so much at the verglass memory which is kind of like a frosted over kind of look for the sniper rifle which is kind of cool same thing for the shotgun you get a shotgun stance you get a tempest of blades emblem on here all for 20 bucks I mean, it's not that cool of a thing, I say, for 20 bucks, but if it's out there for you guys, if you really feel inclined, there it is. This one, I was a little underwhelmed by the Maltese Mayhem weapon set, which does come with some cool additions when it comes to attachments on your gun. So that definitely has some form of value right there, I would see for you guys, but nothing like too crazy. Nothing like the uh, Eagle one that happened last week. That was cool. But like this code in here, which I think actually we had during the flights, uh, again, like, it's nice, but, like, nothing, anything that would stand out to make me want to spend $15 on this set. Now, you're going to be seeing this one a lot, guys. The Cat Lover set right here, which gives you the coating right here, but also cat ears on your helmet. Honestly, I think this is kind of fun. I'm all for it. And a weapon tag that has a little cat face. And, of course, you would have cat as well as a weapon charm <laughs> cat's actual helmet which is so kind of funny and we had the return of pizza from halo 5 guys a pizza charm we also have a bacon charm as well with some nameplates on here as well so i would honestly say that this week's set does provide more value or a little bit better reasoning to buy into the stuff compared to last week which is like they were selling like 10 bucks for brown but i do have the challenge of getting 10 spartan kills in fiesta so let's go for it and before we jump into the game, guys, a quick word from our sponsor, X Gaming. X Gaming right here sent me a controller when I was able to customize it however I like. I have this cool kind of blue flame kind of decal on it. Pretty sweet. But a really important thing that comes with these Hex Gaming controllers is that 
They got buttons on the back, which in Halo is super useful. For my back paddles, I like to use Mark as well as equipment. That way I don't have to take my thumbs off the sticks and I can still be super effective while playing the game. I've been playing with this controller on stream. Essentially what it is, it's a modified Xbox Series X controller. They use the actual hardware. This isn't some weird like Mad Cats knockoff. They take the real deal and they modify it to make it something a little more what gamers want. You can go onto their website as well and customize it however you like. The buttons, the paddles, the tricks, the coatings if you want uh, like a different kind of decal on it and things like that far more customizable than you can do on the xbox website and i'll say a comparable price to a elite controller but the reason why i'm using my hex gaming controller over my elite controller left bumper right here doesn't work anymore all the buttons on this one definitely work they also have different accessories like this one right here. You can see my right stick is actually higher than my left stick. This allows me to have a higher sensitivity and more control over my character as well. A really great addition. Like it's kind of like almost a necessity now for me when playing on controller. Check out the link in the pinned comment and in the description down below to use my referral link. And if you decide to purchase anything, make sure you use my code to get 5% off your purchase. Help support me and help support a smaller company as well. But enough talking about it. Let's get into the game and I'll show you why I like this controller. So for like one of my back buttons I like to utilize is marking and so that I can aim shoot and mark all at the same time it's super useful because like marking is absolutely crucial if you want to make sure you give proper calls to your teammates here so it gives you opportunity to really be effective on the battlefield while also being able to beat some cheeks i also like to utilize the back right paddle here for a nice little ability to use the equipment so i can see i have like a grenade stream my way Throw it back real quick while keeping my thumbs on the sticks as well. I'd honestly say it's comparable to the Elite controller as well. And you can get them for about the same price. But I think it just kind of, it feels a little bit better. It's lighter weight, so it's less stressful to hold on your hands. Now I got to focus up because I'm trying to get 10 kills in a Fiesta. And if I don't do that in one match, I'm going to be a very sad little panda. There we go. And we're kind of like halfway through the game right now. So I definitely need to step it up. There we go, get him, yeah! Oh, we got Rockets easy mode here, let's go. Got him. Oh, they're over here. Got another one. And another one. Now right, we need to see three more kills. We get this completed right here. Snoo scooped him with the skewer. God, I love this guy. It's such a great addition to Halo with this sandbox, man. I'll mark it right there with my control using that back paddle. Super useful. Oh gosh, he's pushing me. Yeah, okay. I do have a repulsive though. Can I repulse him back? Like that! There we go. Utilize that back right paddle right there to get him off my back while also being able to aim all at the same time. It's like seriously guys, paddles in Halo are super super useful. If you haven't tried it out, I mean seriously, try it out. It's like all the pros also use paddles on the back of their controllers as well. Like I haven't I mean utilized them to my full capacity. I still have two buttons, I haven't even figured out how the map properly yet. All right, we completed our game here. So we see our progression that we made here through the past for at least shows tier one. We got our 10 kills in Fiesta. There we go. We didn't quite get our 2000 points in cumulative score, so whatever. But we'd see you'll unlock things in the battle pass for season one, as well as your pass for the winter contingency on top of that. So you're basically just like double grinding, double dipping on the grind, dude. What's wrong with that? So that's the winter contingency event for you guys. Kind of surprised that we didn't see like the snowman head and all those leaked items that we've seen online involved with this pass in some capacity. Maybe be thrown into the store next week. We don't know. The pass itself is a lot better than Tenrai with a lot less challenge swaps and double XP boosts, like actual content you can put on your character for, especially for the Mark 7, which is definitely needed. And thank you Hex Gaming for being the sponsor of this video. Again, check out the link in the pinned comment and in the description down below to make sure you use the referral code for 5% off. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here i link to all my halo infinite news and informational videos right there thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out